There's the bass. It's a good one. Pull a drag, serious drag. Hi everyone, Corey here with Team Kramer Fishing and tonight I have two goals in mind. Um, two goals that I'm going to try to accomplish. Um, the first is I'm going to set a crayfish trap for tomorrow morning. I'm going to try to come up early tomorrow morning, try to get on some big bass. The second thing I'm going to test today are these little o-rings for um, my wacky rigged yum dinger. I've been having good luck with the yum dinger lately, but um, I've been losing about one per fish basically. <laughs> So um, I'm going to give these O-rings a try. I tried some from like the dollar store and they didn't work. So uh, they basically dissolved um, once they touched the bait for a little while. So I ordered these from Amazon. I'm going to give them a try, see if they work just as good as without them. All right, here we go. All right, so I've had these crappy leftovers in the freezer for probably a month now or more. That's going to be my bait. Um, I have three of them in there, so I'm going to put these in my put these in my minnow bucket here. My crayfish trap. Okay, so I tied my trap shut. I have my three crappie carci in there, and um, I just have this tied to a rope. Now this spot I chose is supposed to rain tonight and there's a drainage pipe over there I'm hoping if it starts kicking out a bunch of water that will attract the crayfish or at least spread the scent it's also very rocky and it's on the way to the spot that I would like to fish okay this is the spot that I plan to hit tomorrow morning hopefully with some live bait really want to get the crawfish um, I'm pretty sure this place is loaded with them but right now we're going to test these o-rings out on this yum dinger. Um, I don't know if any fish are going to be biting in this spot. I'm going to try a couple other spots, but I was walking by it, so I figured why not. Okay, no luck here right now, so I'm going to move on to this other spot. Spot number two. All right, made it to spot number two. Have yet to catch a fish out of this spot in 2017. It's pretty good for me in the fall. Um, last year. When they're here, they usually like the yum dinger, so we'll give it a try. All right, everyone, we are on to plan B after getting completely skunked the first two spots. Um, I'm going to try to catch me a some live bait, like a sunfish or something. And um, I'm going to try to fish a new rig that I've developed for this lake for the first time. I was going to try to use it tomorrow morning, but I think I'm going to go ahead and see if it works tonight. Um, maybe we can get into something. Let's see. Okay, folks, so I'm going to go out on a limb here and say this is the most complicated rig you'll probably ever see me tie. We have like a crew of rowers out there doing something, beating a tom-tom drum. Um, so the problem that I have with this lake is it is a former quarry. It has a rocky bottom, ro steep rocky cliffs. So if you throw live bait down into the bottom like a sunfish in most of the lake, they just hide under the rocks. Um, now, I've floated them from bobber before with some success, but basically what they do is they keep swimming back to shore. So you have to cast them out over and over and over and over and over again, and it just gets um, really annoying. So the idea with this rig is it's going to pin that fish a couple feet off of the bottom. Um, and so what I have here is, I'm sure everybody can see here. 
This is a one ounce banana style weight. I'm gonna clip it on here. You can add more weight with a clip. You could just tie it straight on, but when I'm carrying my pole, it's, I don't like having this weight dangling around. So this is the bottom and it's gonna, this is gonna sit down in the rocks, probably. I have this tied with six pound monofilament. And then it goes up to, let's see if you guys can see here. It goes up to a pair of swivels. Um, and the, this one swivels around and it's gonna have my bait on it, my crawfish or about to be sunfish here. So that sunfish can swim all around, but what he can't do is is um, pull left and right to get into the rocks. The rocks are to the left or right. So then what makes this a little more, even more complicated is um, I have a, I'm gonna have a slip bobber. Grab it here. So this is a rocket bobber. These are these are handy because you can use them as a slip bobber or a regular bobber. So when I cast out, it's going to be up about 10 feet ultimately. So it's going to when when the weight goes down, this is going to slide up. You know, this is a deep quarry, 20, 30 feet in some places. So what it should do is lift when it hits the t the the stopping point. It should lift that fish off the ground. So I got a couple maybe 18 inches up between the hook and the ground so they can't get into the rock. So basically what it does, suspends that bait, if it works properly, um, in the strike zone of the fish. So that's what we're gonna try to do. I'm gonna test it out for the first time right now, as soon as I catch some bait. Freaking Black Hawk helicopter flying out here. Don't know what's going on around here. We don't have any bases really. Okay. Now when I lived on military bases, I mean, I could sleep through 20 of those flying over my house every night, but... Not used to it here in Iowa. Just tagging my weight. There we go. All right, we got our bait. Didn't take too long. It took a little longer than I thought. I thought I was gonna get that first little guy. So this guy's perfect. He's like three inches. Gotta break the lip. Okay. Hooked right behind the dorsal fin. Let's see how we do here. I'm gonna kind of cast this out far. I don't. I don't. I've never fished this spot before. I don't know exactly how deep it is. All right, I decided to move spots to the other side of my favorite bridge here. Since the wind is coming in this way, ought to be some fish wanting to ambush out here on the other side. I'm gonna put this guy There's the bass. It's a good one. Pull a drag, serious drag. I'm gonna say three pounds if I can get my net here. There we go. Got him. He's a long way down there. All right. It's a nice fish. It's a two pounder. On the crawdad again. Took 
some work to get that girl get my net out I designed it I just repositioned it on my bag and uh, it's designed to take off while you're wearing the bag and it was getting heavy so I took it off so that was a bit of a mistake but we're gonna let this girl go back in here and there she goes Float is not powerful enough to keep him up. I only got one tonight. A large mouth. Well, I guess I got a sunfish too, but I'm using it for bait. So <laughs> there are, yeah. Oh, might have one right now. Just getting ready to leave. Let's see what we got. Just put my net away, of course. Let's see what it did for this. Man, it's, it's running like, I don't know what it is. It might be a big bass. No, I just got to get my net out. I uh, literally, there we go. I literally, what's a, can't tell what it is. It looks like a bass. Not as big as I thought it was, but actually I can lift him out. My, my other, this has 30 pound braid on it. My other, uh, my other rod only has six pounds, so yeah. Hey, thanks. First live bait bass on the sunfish. Don't see the sunfish down there, but he might be. All right, that's good. It's starting to rain. I was just packing up. I was honestly reaching for my pole and uh, even had my net put away. Didn't really need him. He felt a little, a little bigger when I first hooked into him, but all right, man, it was a long outing. Tried a lot of different stuff tonight but we got one on the craw and we got one on the live sunny so I'm pretty flipping happy and I'm gonna improve my rig a little bit I figured out um, what some of the issues were and I'm gonna work those out and we'll be ready hopefully fish tomorrow morning all right here we go all right everybody Viv and I are back and we are about to check the crayfish trap that I put out last night It's um, maybe about six o'clock in the morning. Fish look really active. All right, let's see what we got, if anything.
Well, we're gonna have to put something fresher in there. 